Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Modern planes and helicopters are incredibly complex machines with tens of thousands of moving parts. Air forces worldwide know this equipment must be carefully maintained to work properly and perform when expected. For this reason, most United States air bases will have a maintenance center either on location or nearby. Air Force maintenance centers play a crucial role in U.S. military operations, providing comprehensive upkeep, repair, and sustainment support for aircraft, equipment, and systems. Though the scope of operations can change from base to base, the men and women who perform this maintenance are well-trained and highly versatile. One of the most critical jobs these maintenance professionals have is ensuring that an aircraft's engines are in the best possible working condition. Modern airplanes can operate in several strenuous scenarios, but an engine failure is an immediate life or death situation. The overall engine maintenance process includes inspection, repair, and overhaul cycles, all designed to maximize operational readiness. For starters, all U.S. aircraft engines undergo rigorous inspections before, after, and in between flights. This process allows maintenance crews to identify and fix potential issues or damage as quickly as possible. It's also important to remember that engine repair costs much less than engine replacement. By being proactive, these crews can significantly reduce the overall cost of maintaining the aircraft fleet. As with a car, diagnostics is the first step when dealing with a potential aircraft engine problem. This refers to the process of inspecting, analyzing, and dismantling part or all of the engine to identify any faults, malfunctions, or areas of concern that might affect the engine's reliability or performance. The diagnostic phase typically includes using specialized equipment and tools to assess the engine's condition. The maintenance tech may also conduct one or more tests or measurements to determine any loss of fuel efficiency, exhaust issues, or oil pressure problems.
U.S. Air Force engine repair shops, also known as maintenance depots or engine overhaul facilities, are specialized facilities where most major engine repairs occur. There are shops like this spread out all over the world, each of them equipped with racks, tools, lifts, and other equipment to help them more easily move and access large engines. Depending on the model, these engines can weigh between 5,000 and 20,000 pounds. This F-16 engine suffered damage from FOD, otherwise known as foreign object debris. Whenever FOD travels through an engine, the entire system must be taken apart as it can be complicated to determine where the damage occurred from the outside. When an engine suffers catastrophic damage or reaches a certain point in its life cycle, Air Force maintenance technicians will replace it with a new or refurbished model. This McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender is one of the most frequently used tanker aircraft in the fleet. Due to the nature of its job, this plane's engines often see higher air mileage than others. Even with the right equipment, Swapping out the engine takes time and coordination from multiple crew members. Each model weighs over 8,000 pounds and measures over 14 feet long. The largest and most advanced aircraft maintenance facility in the United States is the Oklahoma City Air Logistic Complex at Tinker Air Force Base. The OCALC is responsible for maintaining, repairing, and overhauling a wide range of aircraft, including bombers, fighters, tankers, and reconnaissance planes. In addition to directly servicing advanced aircraft, the complex also provides support for engines, avionics systems, and other related aerospace components. The facility employs a highly skilled workforce of more than 10,000 military personnel, civilian employees, and contractors. It also features various shops, production, and repair lines spread out over thousands of acres. The primary mission of the United States Air Force is to ensure that its aircraft remain battle ready at all times. That's why it places a lot of focus on field maintenance. This refers to any maintenance activities carried out in the field or at remote locations 
rather than dedicated facilities or depots. Though major repairs are sometimes necessary, most field maintenance focuses on inspection and evaluation before or after a flight. That said, the nature of the process can change depending on the type of aircraft, mission requirements, and operating conditions. This KC-135 is based in Qatar, an arid desert nation where the plane and its engines are subject to high levels of sand, heat, and debris. In such conditions, the U.S. military is likely to increase the frequency and thoroughness of its maintenance efforts. Finally, you have depot level maintenance. This is the highest level of maintenance conducted on an aircraft and other military equipment and requires extensive resources, specialized facilities, and highly skilled personnel. As the name implies, depot level maintenance is typically performed at large scale facilities adequately equipped to facilitate major overhauls, repairs, and modifications. Operating on land provides a lot of options for maintaining aircraft. However, the same cannot be said at sea. For the 80 plus planes and helicopters assigned to a US Nimitz class carrier, maintenance must be done with minimal space and minimal room for error. All modern aircraft carriers boast a large hangar bay just a few levels down from the flight deck. This is where the majority of maintenance and upkeep occurs. Though the hangar decks are typically quite cramped, crews have everything they need to keep their aircraft in proper working order. However, if a plane or helicopter needs an engine overhaul, major structural repair, or complex system upgrade, they will typically be returned to the shore Maintenance teams are easily recognized on board an aircraft carrier, thanks to their bright green shirts. These men and women work tirelessly to ensure all planes and helicopters on board are mission ready at all times. Just like on land, all aircraft maintenance on carriers follows a well-defined cycle known as the maintenance phase. This phase comprises several stages, including pre-flight maintenance, post-flight maintenance, daily inspections, turnaround inspections, periodic inspections, and major maintenance intervals. Routine inspections are scheduled at regular intervals 
typically every 30, 60, or 120 days. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.